Hey guys, so it's going to be a really quick project. Uh, I'm not going to be explaining too much. It's one of those videos and we're building a deer feeder this time. So let me just draw it out how it's going to look like. We're going to have a barrel and then basically legs at a certain degree. Three legs in total. Most likely what we'll do, we'll have a funnel on the inside but that's gonna come later. And then we want to cut out a separate hole uh, for when we pour in the corn and so we can see the level of corn inside of the deer feeder. So there's gonna be an opening and we're gonna put plexiglass on, on there as a window. That's the basic idea. And we're gonna have the deer feeder under here and periodically we're going to set it so it spits out corn and yeah. We did buy a deer feeder, but the battery doesn't quite fit into the deer feeder. So what we're going to do is modify the electronics somewhat, but that shouldn't be a big issue. And yeah, we have a lot of metal to cut, so we should probably get to that. Don't get, don't get cheap drill bits. Hey, Michael, Vsauce here. We have a barrel in the back. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is the most portable deer feeder on the market right now. So right now my job is to make sure that this feeder works. But in order to do that, I need to connect the battery over here on these contacts. And unfortunately, we bought the right battery, but with the wrong connectors. You can see at the back end over here that there's a plate and you have to shove in a battery that has its connectors exposed so they can uh, make contact with that plate once you shove this thing in. And so a connection can be made to power this feeder. 
So basically my job is to make some custom connectors that connect from the battery over to that plate or to the wires that are connected to the plate. And oh look, if the feeder gets lonely, it has a hotline it can call. How considerate of the manufacturers. Not that bad, I would say. I managed to reach in there and solder these wires on, so that's good. Now we gotta trigger this feeder manually. There you go. So yeah, I'll just connect it like that, and then I'll put the cover on. And there you go, one working feeder. This is not gonna pop off. It's actually pretty snug in there. To ensure the battery had the longest life possible, we installed a 12 volt solar panel, originally designed to be used in vehicles to charge car batteries, to an adjustable step down converter charger board I found on eBay. I did some simple tests in sunlight to ensure reliability and proper charging, but after that it was a simple matter of building a frame for the solar panel and attaching it to the barrel. How do you know you got corn? This is how you know you got corn. Howdy, so we're back in Wisconsin. I think it's been around three months, but um, I'll probably know exactly how long it's been when I edit this video. So uh, I didn't wanna leave you guys without proper testing of the deer feeder. So uh, we wanted to see, I wanted to see um, if it would withstand the weather and if the battery in there would be uh, all good. Now, we wanted to, I wanted to test out the feeder and basically just see how it will withstand the weather, how it will withstand the squirrels, and well, I'll just show you the damage. And now when we come over to the feeder itself, 
this was already disconnected. Now on the now on the trail cam, we saw that squirrels were climbing up these poles. And so my theory is maybe they climbed up here so much that they disconnected the solar panel from the battery, which we had connected over here. And now see water got inside and the corn is starting to stink. So that's not good either. That's why we actually are making a new lid or putting on a new lid. We're also going to be opening this up and checking the battery and, and seeing if it's dead or not. And we have a plan to secure the legs and pouring in concrete, which we have right there. We're gonna be using concrete and just securing the legs, so making sure it doesn't wobble, so it's way stiffer than this. Yeah, that's a little bit too much wobble. Now, as far as the problem with the squirrels go, we have some lubricant that we plan to uh, spread along these poles, so hopefully they can't climb up anymore, but we'll see on the trail camera. So as far as the corn goes, I wanted to show you how much corn is still left in here after about maybe three months or so. So that's how much it was. I remember when we first started, when we filled this up, uh, it was about over here. And so it used up all the corn. So that means the feeder was at least working for some time. I just wanna show you, that is moldy corn. That's what happens when you let water get into your deer feeder. All right, I just want to quickly show you the battery voltage. So this is a six volt battery in here and we're testing the voltage right now, but the solar panel is connected to this. Uh, now the solar panel was disconnected by some mischievous squirrels, I guess. Um, and so the battery, when we first tested it was completely dead. It was almost zero, but once uh, we connected over the solar charger to it, uh, we're getting a nice consistent reading. So maybe, maybe the solar panel can revive that battery. All right, keep, keep digging, dude. I didn't change your mask. Polce mi nauczyli jak zrobić zupę i to, to jest to jest gulasz bardzo smaczny więcej wody do zupy wie, wie, no więcej wody do zupy okej okay. no już pasta jest ciężka praca Dude, I'm gonna lose subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Corn's up to here. Halfway. Halfway. That's uh, four bags. Probably take, I don't know, seven to like eight bags of corn to fill it. And we're making sure that this doesn't disconnect again. Uh, now the battery in there is way too weak uh, to operate this right now. All right, so that's how the top looks like. This is the little roof that we put over the wooden cover, the wooden lid. There you go, so this is the barrel. This is the wooden lid that we spray painted black for the weather. 
so, th so this is pretty much waterproof and then we have on top a metal cover. So we're really hoping that this keeps the rain out. 